Allan, Kernahan's and Dee have been going about their business quietly in recent weeks. They haven't lost a game since the 3-2 defeat to Airdrie on Boxing Day, and they showed why with this move, Kevin McDonald just unable to provide the finish it perhaps deserved. Maybe some early warning signs for Neil Watt. His Stranraer side have won just once away from home this season and lost to Dundee in the Cup just three weeks ago. He was hoping to avoid a repeat of that defeat, but it was a case of deja vu. Brian Daisley firing the home side in front. Just seven minutes in, a clean finish and Daisley already staking his claim for a regular starting spot. They'd given Dundee a head start, but Stranraer weren't about to throw the towel in, and within minutes of the opener, Willie Martin used his head to try and find the leveller. That wasn't to put Stranraer off the scent of a goal, though, and as this was the fifth meeting of the sides already this season, that's something Dundee would no doubt have expected. Martin was involved in the build-up again, but it was the persistence that paid off for Stranraer this time, Paul Walker getting the vital final touch. Kernahan won't be too happy with the defending for that goal, but it was the breakthrough Stranraer had been looking for. However, they almost shot themselves in the foot. Simon Lynch given too much space and unlucky not to hit the target. Stranraer surviving that scare then, but they gave Dundee one of their own after the break. Goal scorer Walker setting up Martin this time for another crack at goal. And with keeper Scott Murray beaten, only the woodwork stopped Dundee from falling behind. Close but not close enough, and Dundee fans free to breathe a sigh of relief. That miss was to come back to haunt Stranraer though, who've scored just to eight times away from home this season. Dundee showed him exactly how it should be done, Simon Lynch turning the ball past the helpless Barry John Core. You can see how much that one meant for a rejuvenated Dundee. They'll be hoping for a similar outcome in the Cup against Airdrie next weekend.